I'm going to talk about the Clintons a little bit. I thought maybe this would be a good thing to bring up. If we were totally equal under the law, plus you have the right to a spin control specialist. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided. Spin doctors? Yeah. Clintons have been good at that. Now, I want you to looky here. Don't forget Whitewater started it all. This is by Thomas Sowell. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is back in 1998. After finishing his work on potential impeachable offenses growing out of the Lewinsky scandal, Kenneth Starr is still investigating other activities by the President and others which could add to the list of potential impeachable offenses by the President and criminal indictments against others. Let's go back to square one. It all started with the appointment of a special prosecutor to look into financial frauds in Arkansas, an institution connected with Hillary and Bill Clinton. The Clintons were partners with Jim and Susan McDougal in the Whitewater Development Corporation, whose accounts were kept in Madison Guarantee Savings and Loan run by Jim McDougal, with Hillary Clinton as the, as the attorney. Federal bank examiners testified that the Madison Guarantee was a politically corrupt institution that routed millions of dollars to politically connected Arkansas people. In more reserved language of an official report, Madison Guarantee was a scene of embezzlement, money laundry, falsification of loan records and board minutes, wire fraud, and illegal campaign contributions, among other crimes. Part of the money looted by Jim McDougal found its way into the Whitewater account and into Bill Clinton's political campaign funds. These frauds left the Federal Deposit Insurance Company Corporation to pay more than $60 million to depositors with accounts in Madison Guarantee. That was more than all the years of Kenneth Starr's investigations cost. Why was the special prosecutor needed? Because the Clintons had used their political clout to obstruct the investigation and corrupt the normal process of government at both the state and the federal levels. This was not just Bill Clinton's method of operation when dealing with scandals in his private sex life. It was also the techniques used by both Clintons in matters having nothing to do with sex long before anyone ever heard of Monica Lewinsky. It's the same MO and you're running into it now. When both state and federal investigators moved in, Hillary Clinton was able to stop the state officials from closing down Madison Guarantee. She was more than just another lawyer appearing before the state officials. She was the wife of the governor who appointed those officials. The Clintons could not interfere with the feds, however, at least not until they were in the White House. By then, Madison Guarantee had been closed down and federal investigators were still on the trail of fraud. By firing all the U.S. attorneys shortly after becoming president, something that no other president had done before, Bill Clinton got rid of all the U.S. attorneys in Arkansas who were investigating the Whitewater Madison Guarantee scandal and replaced him with Paula Casey, a Clinton protege and one of his political campaign workers. The president's Arkansas appointee had no experience as a prosecutor, but she had political ties to people being investigated, including the Clintons, Arkansas Governor Jim Gay Tucker, other federal authorities who sent information to Casey for criminal investigation of Tucker and the Clintons got nowhere. She officially declined the criminal referrals. She even kept the information from reaching the Justice Department headquarters in Washington, D.C. until others went over her head to tell the top brass at the Justice Department. Other investigators and another federal agency were told that higher-ups would take a dim view of their pursuing the Whitewater Madison affair. When these investigators failed to take the hint, they were put on administration leave in August 1994 without warning, without explanation. Meanwhile, the White House lawyers and the Clinton's private attorneys were being briefed repeatedly on how much dirt the feds had dug up on the Clintons in Arkansas. It was like a complete violation of the rules and practices for federal investigators to reveal what they had found out to those who were being investigated. All, all that kept this cover-up and obstruction of justice from succeeding was the appointment of a special prosecutor, Kenneth Starr, who could not be put on administration leave. He got more than 20 felony convictions out of the Arkansas jury in an overwhelming Democratic state, despite later White House spin that he was all just re it was Republican partisanship. 
Against this background, it's easy to see why various records showing Hillary Clinton's work for Madison Guarantee were destroyed and others were stolen by Webster Hubble and lost in the White House. I thought you guys would like to hear that.